morning, friends. We are off to the plant proof journey retreat. I am so excited. I've definitely overpacked. I have my breakfast in hand and we are going to the airport. So, classic me taking a snack on the road. I've got coconut yogurt, blueberries, granola, botanica blends, protein powder, and of course, ombre to be in the cat cup. So, we are at Melbourne Airport and about to jump on the plane to the Sunshine Coast. And I've looked up the weather, and the weather looks amazing. I am so excited. This retreat was actually meant to happen last year in Bali, but because of COVID, obviously that didn't go through. So we are going to the Sunshine Coast as well. Uh, and I'm so excited because Simon Hill from Plant Proof, which I'm sure most of you would know about, he's running the whole thing. It's gonna be such a good networking opportunity, but also such a good break for me. I love um, working out, so it's literally, this is my jam. And I'm gonna be bunking in with a random. I'm doing this solo, which is a really good challenge, I think as well. Anyway, it's time to plan sky. So we're off to a cracking start. It is just my luck, but my bag didn't make it to the Sunshine Coast. It is still in Melbourne, which is great because we have like a full afternoon of activities and I don't have clothes for that. So I'm gonna go find out what happened. Michael, the owner, has bought out these amazing vegan bows and oh my gosh. Big room reveal. Hello, how good is this? I have, I think I've been upgraded. I definitely didn't book a individual room. So I'm not complaining about this, but this is just amazing. This is so cool. And the Journey to Treats goodie bag. So inside this bag is a bunch of goodies. I'm gonna unpack it. Oh my gosh, we got some Tropica Lean Protein. Love that. I actually forgot protein on the strip, so that's really convenient. What else do we have? We have some plant-based shake. And maybe a water bottle. We got a diary. I was actually thinking about journaling while I was here, so that's really convenient. We have a Metabolism Plus Coffee. Yes, I love coffee. Every day. Oh, aches and pains. We're going to need that. Some toothpaste bites. Some Chalky. Obviously, I'll be tucking into that right away. Some Lion's Mane as well. Plus a sweat towel. We love a sweat towel. This is great. Day one has begun. Everyone meet Ash and check out this incredible view. This doesn't even do it justice. I'll show you guys more over the next seven days. But anyway, soaking up this for now. Okay, hold the phone. There is, is it a joey? There's a kangaroo or a joey. I haven't seen one of these for like 10 years. Oh my God, there's two of them. There's another one. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Hi, hello. He's like, yep, I'm full. <laughs> That's me after the nachos. <laughs> We are ready for yoga. Look what arrived in my room. It is my suitcase. And at first I was like, is this mine? But yeah, it's definitely mine. <laughs> Good morning. We have gotten up at 5.30 to come watch a sunrise with the gals. And we are all in desperate need. <laughs> well, I'm in desperate need of coffee. <laughs> so we're gonna go hunt down some coffee before our 6.30 a.m. Strength and conditioning class, is that right? Yes. 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 And then we have a surprise. Don't know what it is, but we might have to pack swimmers. So we'll find out. Anyway, day two, welcome. Guys, we have found coffee. I've got macadamia milk. They've <laughs> got coffee. No, tell the people, please. <laughs> Guys, in case you're wondering, they have macadamia milk. <laughs> that is 20 minutes. Good morning. 
morning, day one, exercise done. We started off with a squat session. And then what did we do? What was that called? Um, that was like a conditioning that was called circuit. Hell. <laughs> yeah, it also translates to hell. Yeah. So essentially we did like ball slams, bear crawls, and then ran and did heaps Sprint. of laps. And what's the time? It's only like 7.30? It's 8 o'clock now. 8 o'clock. Done. Going back to our room to shower and then we're going to have some brekkie. Yeah. So I know I said before day one is actually day two here and I just, yeah, I'm so genuinely happy to be here. If I'm honest, I have been like on a rat race ever since December. I ha literally haven't had a day off since Christmas day and I'm not complaining because I'm super, super grateful for my job. It's just, yeah, I've been caught up in this adrenaline of nonstop hustle and it is so nice to reset. Um, and be here and be forced to slow down, have some time by myself and also just meet new people. I value that so much and I can't wait. It's already day two and I'm already like, I could go home now and be like, I'm so happy. Uh, so there's so much more to come and I can't wait to share with you. Um, super excited for the food actually. Very much excited for the food and I know you guys are too. Anyway, just trying to find my room because I constantly get lost here, so. So just an update from day two, this morning we had a goal setting workshop which is really incredible and we got to learn about why people are here and it, yeah, there was, I think there's a common theme of people that definitely overwork and have been caught up in hamster wheel. I am definitely one of them, so uh, yeah, really happy to be here and then we did a bit of a what wellness and health means to everyone and next week we the importance of sleep, so I took the advice, uh, literally, I just had a nap. And now I'm off to the pool, I'm still a little bit of work by the pool <laughs> and then we have a Pilates workshop with Jake. So This, my friends, is day three. We have some dreamy pancakes this morning and check out what a beautiful day it is today. Friends, it is officially day three and we have just finished a mobility workshop which was super interesting and also super insightful. I have terrible mobility, but we're gonna work on it. Then we had pancakes for breakfast and now we're off to a water sports activity, which I'm so excited for. I have no idea what we're in for. Oh, this little bush turkey, but uh, let's do it. Also this morning I was like, what day is it? And that's when you know you're on holiday mode because you don't know what day it is. Guys, we are about to take on this incredible water park. I am definitely reliving my childhood days. Wakeboarding is my first time. Was it your first time? Yes, first time ever. Selena nailed it. You did two laps. It's actually really hard. It is really hard, especially like when it goes around the corner. You don't have to like hold on. Totally. Like, so hard. Selena, what did you think? We're doing a little, We're doing a little interview. interview. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you thought it was okay. Okay. Oh, you very yes. <laughs> But what did you think of it? Um. Well, I dicked it. So. Gnarly dude. So by the time this vlog has gone live, you would have hopefully already seen the Byron Bay clip. If not, go back and watch it now. But this is what you do when you own a business and are a content creator. You're working on holidays, but with a lovely view, so we can't complain. Yeah, well, that was... What's, okay. the, what's the trick to, to not burn yeah. those so they, go, they don't go bitter? Yeah. As soon as you smell the aromatic, you've got to get some liquid in. So tonight we are having this Massimum curry that Adam and Simon have cooked up for us with an incredible 
papaya salad. Yum. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to day four. Is two of the girls' birthdays here today, so we're about to go and wake one up at 5.30 a.m. and surprise her with some chocolate because chocolate is life. So we just finished that running session and we have a big, look at this. Yes. Hey guys, we are here at Elixir Bar. We have snuck off from the resort today to come to a special lunch because it is Selena's birthday and Elixir Bar have very kindly invited us in for a plant-based spread. There are two locations, one in Byron that we didn't get to, um, so we've made sure that we've come to this one and we've heard great things. We'll show you what we ate. Cheers. Friends, we are doing an outdoor beach workout and look at the sweat on us. We're dying. Go guys, smile. Yeah. Here we go. Woo Morning and welcome to day five. I am like on a mission because we had a workout at 6.15. I thought it was 6.30, so I messaged the girls and was like, hey, you wanna walk together? And they're like, Renee, it's already here, so gotta go. International Earth Day and coconut bowls have dropped by our retreat to uh, make a brekkie with us and we're going to be doing acai bowl making I think I love coconut bowls I own so many of them um, so I can't wait to go check it out Radio, beautiful arrangement here at uh, Sunny Coast, mate. We've got an epic mobility Pilates integrated session. Can't wait to uh, get onto it. Guys, are you pumped for Pilates? Yeah! Night five, the phone is back working. We are doing a pizza night. Guys, are you pumped for pizza? Everyone is tucking straight in. I think we got a tempeh one, another tempeh one. And we're gonna watch a documentary. I'm thinking it's Seaspiracy, but we'll see. 
No, be in it. Smile. <laughs> no, I don't want to be in it. Be shy. Guys, this morning we are fueling up with Asai Brothers. You've probably seen I these guys all over Melbourne. <laughs> guys, this is what you do when you wait for Asai. You gotta check your Asai. <laughs> that sounds like ID, right? No. Day six, and they've really turned it on with this incredible plant based burger with a falafel patty before our thousand rep challenge this afternoon. Good morning. We have gotten up for an early sunrise walk at Mount Cool. Yeah. And it's we got up at 5 a.m. We're all here. Welcome to BTS with Civi. <laughs> Doing it for the gram. Yeah. <laughs> Well, friends, it is our final morning here on the Sunshine Coast for Journey Retreats and we just say goodbye to each other, um, which was really, really sad actually. There was heaps of tears. I know people say this all the time, but I genuinely believe that we had such an incredible group and I feel like so many people have gotten their mojos back or um, motivation or inspiration or education and that is such a credit to the Journey Retreats team and also Simon Hill, such a humble and beautiful person and also just doing such incredible things in the plant-based space and it's definitely taught me so much about uh, my own health and also how I can impact others through the vegan guides and things like that as well um, so yeah flying home to Melbourne today which I'm not really looking forward to because it's super cold but if you're thinking about doing one of these journey retreats this is not a sales pitch I'm, I don't work with them I just wanted to say it is one of the greatest things you can do for yourself um, and your health and your wealth and happiness uh, I think yeah it's a money can't buy experience like i haven't even thought about the money once because there's just so much value in being here and meeting these people and building genuine connections not just uh surface level i guess relationships to everyone that came along on this journey retreats if you're watching thank you if you didn't watch and you're getting mad fomo i don't blame you because it was such an incredible week and i'm so proud of myself as well i pushed myself really hard yesterday in the thousand step challenge and yeah, I'm proud of me, I'm proud of the people here, I'm proud of the team, I'm proud of the plant-based movement, and Simon Hill, you are an absolute champion for what you do in this space. And um, I'm gonna leave this vlog here. Thank you for hanging in here, because it's been a long vlog. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please, as always, give it a thumbs up. I was actually born with a third thumb, by the way. If you wanna give a double thumbs up, that would be great. Um, click the subscribe button and let me know what you think of the video below. I really appreciate it. And if you have any questions about this trip, um, also the fact we just got given uh, Simon's book, which I'm so excited to tuck into, please ask me, please connect with me. And um, yeah, make sure you go on a journey retreats next time. I will put all the info below and I'll see you at the next one because I'm definitely coming back. Bye.